Right, hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. This week you join me out on the bank and we're in search of some elusive carp. So today I've brought you along on an adventure to a pool that I've never made a blog on in the past. But I do fish it from time to time and the reason why I don't bring the camera and it's some advice that I do give to people who contact the channel who are starting out making YouTube videos is always have those places that you go fishing where you don't take the camera and the places that generally I would say would be quiet where you get away from it all you leave the vlogging camera at home and not go out and enjoy fishing because I love making the videos but the places where you just go fishing and you're not making a video you might take a picture of your captures but you don't really make a video on them and you just go fishing chill out and relax the venue that we're on today I call it the garden pool that's just a name that I've given the venue because of the beautiful little intimate bits of the pool there's a bit where you're walking through some lovely flowers and trees and daffodils you go through an old little fence to get to parts of the pool and parts of it are really overgrown like neglected and other parts of it can be quite open and shallow but it's just got that feel of the English countryside about it despite it being a venue that I have fished since I was a kid but that is the beauty of the venue and the magic that it holds so today is going to be a bit more of a chilled out vlog not so much about um, you know the action of playing a carp if we do get one and I do say if we get one because despite this pool having some nice carp up to low doubles and the odd ghost carp in it it's not easy and there is that conception in fishing or that thought in fishing that you know bigger carp smaller venue that they're easier to catch and it is not true so home for the session got my day sheltered up so they give a bit of mixed weather today they give periods of sun and some rain and cloud got my chair in the back there we hold all that i put me sheltered in and me rods and me me stuff for recording and me bank sticks and what i always have at this time of year is a bag like that can fit everything i need for the day session in that bag me bite alarms you know some water me cooker and all the bits and pieces that you need down there got me bait me pellets and me boilies and then everything i need to hand and nice fits on the tray nice won't go anywhere because it fits within the sides and that is where i'm going to be sat and fingers crossed they'll be jumping from that chair to strike a bite so on the garden pool we drink lots and lots of coffee and try and work out a plan to outwit mr carp it's all very light-hearted when i come on here you know you don't know how many carp you're fishing for sometimes you might only see the odd glimpse of them because the water is so coloured it's like a peaty colour Sunday morning second cup of coffee we're about three hours in and we're just starting to see the odd carp mooching so I'll we'll quickly go over the rig that I'm using today to start off with I've got 15 pound main line on the line I've got one of the Dinsmore Olivettes and that is just to pin the line down it's not attached to the line anyway so if you did crack off it would just fall off but it just helps to pin that line down on there i've got a length of tungsten loaded tubing that is down to an inline lead and i've got a swivel and that is just barely in there so as soon as the carp picks up the bait you know it gets the shock but then you quickly get a, a free running rig straight away you just want that initial bolt to hook the fish i've got a small hook link of 20 pound tungsten loaded i've got a dinsmore shot just to counterbalance the weight of a pop-up and on there i've got a size 10 corum grappler whole rig goes inside a small pva bag full of hinders pellets and what you've got there is just one pile of bait and attraction so the rods are remaining predictably quiet like this venue always does but the fish are active today and i just wanted to talk about what this venue actually has taught me in terms of fishing because it has taught me a lot over the years if you look at the venue it is a pt type water and you don't really see the commons and the mirrors to be honest with you mr carrot and the ghosties you only really see them when they come right into the shallows as you can see on screen now 
so it is a hard venue to try and locate the fish and it does teach you a lot about watercraft the fish don't really show as in coming out the water they don't roll you don't really see them moving that much so you've got to go on those little signs you know are they on the back of the wind are they on the front of the wind little tiny bubbles coming up in places and constantly just trying to move around the venue and when i say move around the venue that in itself you've got to do carefully i'm quite a big guy but as you can see on the screen now when i'm walking close to the water i'm just taking those little tiny quiet slow steps every time i walk a bit around the venue all these little things come together to hopefully get you a bite but you've got to do them if you don't do them you will not get a bite and that is what this venue has taught me it's the harsh reality of not keeping to your to your strict rules you know being quiet around the venue sitting back putting a bait in and be confident that if them fish come into that area it's in a good spot it's on a hard spot and you know the bait is there for when they come in and these are all the little things that this venue has taught me and the importance of them and it has really been a good venue over the years for teaching me those basics but also sticking to them and see a cloud cover over today and gaps in it and i don't know what i want for the best whether i want that sun to come out and stay out where they might come up in the water a little bit or whether we want that cloud cover just to keep it cool so leave in the comments below what you prefer to do do you prefer to not see the carp and not get a bite or see the carp and also not get a bite <laughs> and that is what the garden pool is all about time to get this coffee down and on that far bank line just tight to the snag two beeps and the rod tore off and surprisingly it's not Mr Carrot <laughs> you see him but you don't catch him one day in the back of that net will be Mr Carrot but any fish off here you've got to be happy with lovely dark colours because it's the peaty water let's get him out and take a look And there we go that is the prize mahogany back yellow flanks and i'm proper made up we've managed to get one because it is a venue which isn't guaranteed it's hard you have to work for the bites but when you get them so worth it and this lovely creature straight back proper proper made up through number three and this one is going to taste sweet successful trip and one happy angler now experience tells me on here if you get one bite you've got to be happy on a red letter day you might get two and at max three i think is the most bites i've had off the pool so we've got one thing on our side today we've got a bit of time we've probably got about two three hours of the session left looking at the pool no two ways about it that fish has spooked them before you were seeing the odd ghosty mooching about and mr carrot I've not seen Mr. Carrot again, so most definitely the pool is as silent as when I arrived this morning now. Hopefully, in the next hour or two, we may get a chance of one more bite. The rigs are back out on the spot, so while you've got a rod in the water, you've always got a chance, haven't you? But you really do need a slice of luck now to get that second fish. And yes, that is hailstone, and yes, it is April. All seasons in one day. It's going to make it even harder to get that second bite but it just shows how balmy the conditions are at the moment and that's why it's so intermittent the fishing freezing cold one minute and the warm glow of the sun the next
do on the vlog you guys say that the videos help you get ready for the week and chill out. I've brought you along today to my chill out venue and I hope you've enjoyed the journey.